What is predictive programming? Predictive programming is a subtle form of psychological conditioning provided by the media to acquaint the public with planned societal changes to be implemented. If and when these changes are put through, the public will already be familiarized with them and will accept them as neutral progressions, thus lessening any possible public resistance and commotion. Predictive programming, therefore, may be considered as a veiled form of preemptive mass manipulation or mind control. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. Isn't it a little creepy when Hollywood predicts the future when they Nostradamus like project on the silver screen something that's going to happen in real life? You see this with old Charlie Chaplin films, right? The great dictator talking about the rise of Hitler all the way to the Simpsons modern day. They get absolutely everything right to some of the bad guys, right? And the, the Kingsman is a good example where you have this eco terrorist bad guy who wants to depopulate the world uh, with a virus. <laughs> what does that sound like? Oh, man. Uh, sometimes it is a little too on the nose. How However, for our modern media cycle, we run into uh, a real, real ringer here from Hollywood inside of East Palestine, Ohio, where they filmed a recent Netflix special called White Noise, where a train derailment causes a toxic cloud to engulf the entire little town. In a 2022 Netflix film, White Noise, a train carrying toxic chemicals gets into an accident and is derailed, unleashing fumes to create an airborne toxic event. The chemical spill requires everyone in the nearby town to evacuate the area and seek shelter far from the crash. Last week, an instance of life imitating art or vice versa, a train carrying harmful chemicals derailed in the very same town used as the filming location for the White Noise on-screen crash. Huh? What? In fact, people from East Palestine, Ohio, were extras in this Netflix adapt adaptation. Huh? The train was transporting several chemicals, including highly combustible vinyl chloride, as well as butyl acetate, which both have spilled from the cars they were carried in. A huge fire resulted in the crash. Officials feared that the chemicals might cause an explosion, prompting thousands of local residents to evacuate the area. One resident, Ben Ratner, had a crazy experience of not only having to evacuate the town this week, but also being in the scenario earlier as an extra in white noise. Ratner appeared in a scene which Adam Driver and Greta Gerwig family are caught in a traffic jam. Hundreds uh, try to evacuate the town after the train, a train filled with toxic chemicals derails. So let's watch the trailer here, uh, see if you can find some similarities. Would you like that protein? That stuff causes cancer in laboratory animals, in case you didn't know. Either I chew gum or I smoke. What are these children, yours? That's mine from wives one and three. There's Babette's from husband two. Wilder is ours. We're each other's fourth. This place is good, Jack. I hope it lasts forever. Let's watch a sitcom or something. I mean, look at look at that. I gotta I gotta stop and then watch this. Huh? Are we in a simulation? Because that that's the the that's the movie, and now this is real life. This is actually happening. Back to the trailer. No. They're calling it the airborne toxic event. It won't come this way. Will we have to leave our home? Of course not. How do you know? I just know. Okay, what if it's dangerous? Evacuate all places of residence. So wait, look at that. Look at the giant cloud, the toxic cloud that hovers over everyone. That's Netflix. This is real life. Uh, hey guys, Ray Charles could see the similarities here. Back to the trailer. We have a situation. All we have to do is stay out of the way. They're passing us, Dad. Technically, that's illegal. Do sheep have lashes? Ask your father. We're going sideways. Dad, do sheep have lashes? Doesn't anyone want to pay attention to what's actually happening? So, okay, so now they're in the, the stream talking about the fish and the contamination inside of the inside of the stream, and we can pop right over here 
to show you literally the same stream with fish contaminated in it. This is their filter barrier that they have currently. But I think it's important for people to see the dead fish. Um, I'm gonna walk under the bridge here above and show you. Coming right up, another fish. Um, there's hundreds of them up here in this area across here, hundreds. Another fish. Another fish. The same stream is being used just a year earlier in the same town for the same event. Uh, okay, again, a little too on the nose here. I wish there was something I could do. I wish I could outthink the problem. There are two kinds of people in the world. Killers and dyers. Most of us are dyers. Right now we're safe. As long as the children are here, they need us. Of some persistent sense of large-scale ruin, we keep inventing hope. So... You see the guys in the hazmat suits there, and you can pop right over to the real East Palestine, where they filmed this movie, and find the man saying, they've nuked our town. We basically nuked a town with chemicals so we could get a railroad open. The they nuked a town with chemicals so we could get a railroad open. Uh, that's literally the plot of the movie. So head on over here uh, to Twitter, Stu Peters. I don't know if you are into fictional drama or far-fetched movie plots, but if you have time to kill, I might suggest this film about a toxic train derailment in Ohio causing an airborne toxic event. Of course, it's just a movie. There's nothing to worry about. It's just a movie. Move along. Uh, here is the page for White Noise on Netflix. How does Netflix describe this movie? Academy Award-winning filmmaker Noah Baumbach comes to an absurdist comedy about a family grappling with love, death, and an airborne toxic event. Ah, okay. Well, what happens here exactly during this airborne toxic event? Here's IMBD page for white noise and the plot. So uh, essentially, they, there's a bunch of prologue here about this guy and his life and his multiple marriages. Then their lives are disrupted when a cataclysmic train accident cast a cloud of chemical waste over their town. Uh, okay. This airborne toxic event forces massive evacuations, leads to major traffic jam on the highway. Jack, Adam Driver, drives to a gas station, refills his car. He is exposed to the toxic cloud. The family and numerous others are forced to quarantine at a summer camp. Murray supplies Jack with a small palm-sized pistol to protect himself against more dangerous survivalists in the camp. So quarantine camps are in order. Got it. Uh, one day, chaos ensues, and families desperately try to escape the camp. Uh... They were almost able to make it out, but end up with their car floating down the river. After nine days, the family is able to leave the camp. Uh, Jack, Jack was exposed to the chemical waste. His fear of death becomes exacerbated. Th I mean, this is, again, I want to like state very clearly, that's the town on screen, the real town, not the trailer town, but it's literally the town from the trailer where a train derailed with a toxic event that caused a black cloud of toxic chemicals to engulf the town and for them to be evacuated by the National Guard, which is exactly what happened in real life. There is a long history of Hollywood predicting something that is going to happen in the future. Why does that occur? Well, there are some really deep fangs from our intelligence agencies into Hollywood. In fact, a considerable amount of Hollywood movies have the direct insight and coordination with our intelligence agencies for the production of the movies. What's going on there? Why that relationship? Good questions. Good questions indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but those are questions for another time. We hope that this isn't the case and that the similarities, creepy similarities end there. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. What's going to happen here? Are we going to see next quarantine camps and then dangerous pharmaceuticals and shootouts? Geez, I hope not. They are saying that the Ohio River is now poisoned, and that's not good. Certainly isn't good. 
What is good here is that at the very least, the core and foundations of America are good. This country is worth fighting for. So we fight right alongside with you. Uh, these monsters who wish to turn our lives into a uh, Netflix horror show. My name is Benny Johnson. See ya. Thank you for watching. Our channel's here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears, they taste just like sweet, delicious ice cream. Salty, too. We ridicule the establishment and the libs because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you like what you saw, please punch the subscribe button, click like, and ring the little bell so that you know when we're live. Don't you want to know when we're live? And make sure that you subscribe to our email list just in case the plug gets pulled, as tends to happen. If you want to see more of our videos, click here or here. My name is Benny Johnson. Stay free. Base Patriots.